What's up, good people? Welcome back to my channel. I really, really appreciate the time you take to check out my videos and to share them with the people. As I promised in my previous video that I will be talking about another form or another shape of glaucoma, which comes from a pigmentation of your iris. As you know, iris is a pigmented part of the eye the iris is right here the colored thing that you see like some people have green eyes or some people have red eyes <laughs> it's very rare to have red eyes or some people have blue eyes or brown eyes it's because they have a brown iris it's because they have a blue iris and so on and so forth but the problem comes when that beautiful iris starts to shed off its pigment, its color. And that's why we call it dispersion of that pigment, which leads to a syndrome in your eye and it's called pigmentary glaucoma or PDS in short. And the problem is it's really hard sometimes to diagnose it because you might miss it. Even if you're an eye doctor, you can miss it, especially in the early ages, in the early stages of glaucoma because the patient is very young and most of the young patients that you see in your eye practice would be normal patients who just need a pair of glasses to see or some of them don't even need glasses okay so those patients will complain about what they will have young age they will be blurry or they will be seeing halos when do they see that they see it for example after some exercise they will come to you, a young guy comes to your clinic or to your office or to your eye hospital and tells them, Doc, I was doing my workout last night in the gym and what happened? I started having blurriness, but I kept continuing my exercise and the blurriness got worse and I started seeing halos around those lights and I was scared to death. So I stopped working out, I went to my car, I took my smoothie, and something is magical about that smoothie, that every time I have that kind of symptoms during the exercise, the smoothie helps me. Doc, help me, what's going on there? Then, you will look inside the eye. It might look normal because the pigment might have settled down, but you have to look at it very carefully because it does deposit at specific areas. For example, you can see a thing called Krukenberg spindle. That's a hallmark sign of that. And I recently saw a patient on that. So pigment rubs off of the back of your iris. And that's what clogs that angle that I was showing in another video about glaucoma. That's how the glaucoma happens. And that's what clogs the angle of that thing, the drainage angle inside the eye. And that's how the pressure builds up inside the eye. So gradually the pressure will be building up. Even uh, exercise can raise the pressure in itself as well. And I have a special video, a specific video on this whole subject that how the exercise increases the pressure in the eye. Check that out, please. I have another video about yoga related to the pressure and all those things. So check those videos, they will help you. Uh, so those things, those pigment deposits in that angle are leading to the high pressure in the eyeball. And that's why you need to further evaluate and you need to treat accordingly. You can't just generalize the treatment on everybody. So you have to treat accordingly. You have to investigate it thoroughly and check out other associations of this condition as well. I hope that was helpful. Ask me if you have any questions in the comment section. I will try my best to help you out. Thank you so much. Have a great day.